The following video will compare the Yokogawa DL9000 to the Tektronix 4000 series with respect to usability and performance. Visibility is an important part of usability. Both instrument displays employ 1024 by 768 XGA resolution. However, the Tektronix display exhibits more glare, inferior contrast, and lower viewing angles. Backlit buttons on the Yokogawa DL9000 give you a quick, intuitive view of which features are enabled. By pressing or double pressing, you can easily toggle those features on or off. On the other hand, few buttons are backlit on the Tektronix, and since the display doesn't offer an acquisition counter, it's hard to know your actual dead time between triggers. Low dead time is important when it comes to finding glitches. The DL9000 always displays a running acquisition counter, so it's clear that using logic channels on the mixed signal models doesn't affect dead time. On the Tektronix, using logic signals impacts dead time by more than 20 times, but there's no warning about this handicap. Next, let's examine Tektronix's heavily touted Digital Persistence Function, or DPO. Let's look for a glitch using DPO against Yokogawa's display persistence. Both instruments can show you when a glitch has occurred, but watch what happens when you zoom in to examine the glitch on the Tektronix. It disappears. That's because DPO is strictly a display method, not a memory management technology. On the DL9000, you can zoom into any area of past waveforms. Using Yokogawa's unique history memory, you can separate past waveforms one by one. You can extract and save these anomalies by themselves or view their timestamps among other triggers. Count-based persistence is an alternative method used to preserve waveforms which occur sporadically. Rather than fading out over time, the DL9000 will persist the most recent waveforms, even if there is a large time gap between triggers. The DL9000 can also use the entire color spectrum as a palette, making infrequent glitches stand out visually. Inside the Tektronix DPO menu, you'll find that it isn't possible to turn DPO off when the oscilloscope is running. Only by pressing the single button can you capture one waveform at a time, but your chances of catching an undefined glitch in this mode are almost zero. Only Yokogawa oscilloscopes offer count-based persistence, color spectrum accumulation, and the ability to turn persistence completely off when you don't need it. Yokogawa's analysis and math capabilities outshine the Tektronix. This is important for waveform characterization, another common application with repetitive waveforms. The Yokogawa DL9000 lets you select from a larger set of parameters, and it lets you measure more parameters simultaneously. Let's select a rise time measurement on both instruments. With both instruments set to the shortest record length, the DL9000 can measure max, min, mean, and standard deviation of rise time over 10 times faster than the Tektronix. In many applications, you'll need to use the instrument's full memory. The situation only gets worse here as the Tektronix crawls to just one rise time measurement every five seconds. If your circuit contains serial bus signals such as CAN bus or I squared C and you want to analyze them, you can expect the same sluggish response from the Tektronix. Take a look at the difference in serial bus processing power when both units are using their full memory. Use the DL9000's advanced analysis tools for further insight. Here, you can trend parameters like rise time to understand how changes correlate with external effects, or study a histogram of its distribution. The DL9000 can even perform cycle-by-cycle -cycle parameter measurements, so you'll be able to catch a single clock cycle with an abnormal characteristic. You're out of luck if you wish to perform advanced parameter analysis on the Tektronix, it simply doesn't offer these functions. The Yokogawa DL9000 Signal Explorer stands alone. It is easy to use and gives you an incredible assortment of display, analysis, trigger, and connectivity tools. 
For a complete demonstration or lab evaluation, please contact your local Yokogawa sales engineer. Thank you for watching.